damage in my teeth, I got a lot of shine Running up the number, that's a lot of crime Try to take it from me, must be out your mind I need a lot of sun Smokey in the air, that's a lot of pine Pockets running over with the dollar sign Try to take it from me Welcome to episode 414 of Fourth and John. I'm Gail Saunders here with Tim Kincaid. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, news has happened. News is breaking. Uh, we, we, we wanted to jump on and, and talk about it real quick. I know uh, the weekend is sneaking up on us, but, you know, how are you sneaking up on us and making moves? We know the Eagles have some money. You know how, how it moves things around. Um, and you know that... Uh, Players got to get paid. I mean, we, if you listen to other podcasts, we have mentioned about the the whole restructuring of George Melotta's deal. It happened, um, and and now things are about to uh, things are about to uh, look on the bright side. I think hopefully Smitty gets done soon. So you know players are getting paid, but if you look around the squad, we have a lot of dudes that are getting money this, these days. So I mean I'm I'm excited about uh, bringing back some old guys. It, it, Avante, we we during the preseason, during the off season when we talked about Avante Maddox pot- potentially coming back, we'd like him back if he took a pay cut, and that is probably the idea. It's probably incentive based, but I feel like overall I think uh, just having him back. I know he's missed a lot of games. But off the rip, Tim, how did you feel about uh, the news when you heard it? Man, I was I was excited. I was excited, excited, ecstatic. Um, this is uh, how we taking care of his own. Um, this was this was how it was supposed to go, right? Now we're just waiting on, um, you know, Smitty. But one thing I will say is, can we can we give a props to our guy Jordan Mulata? That dude is living an American dream right now. Like he is seventh round pick. Didn't know how to put. I mean, he had the wrong size cleats on. Imagine being six, 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 seven, 380 pounds, whatever he is, and then you're like, "Oh, I'm a rocker. I'm gonna rock a size 13." Like, bro, you're actually a size 16. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it is super, super dope. Then, and then, like somebody to like be in the University of Stoutland, and the work ethic and the time, the grind has paid off. And look at him; he's about to make, he's about to make a hundred mil. He's, he's living American dream. He's, he's, he, he's definitely uh, making some money. Uh, I, I I think it's uh it's it's great to see, man. Like um, if you, I don't know how long you've been following Fourth and John, but when people were laughing at me for having a rugby player, this said rugby player, I had this rugby player in the seventh round of my mock draft, and people laughed. They said the rugby player. I said Stoutland went to IMG Academy. And held his hand through the whole experience. If Stoutland is down there, uh, there's a reason. Uh, now, if you if you went back and watched the, the videos of uh, him, um, you know, running around, you saw the sweet feet. You love the sweet feet. Um, but the the fact that uh, you talking about that contract, uh, Adam Schefter reported that uh, Jordan Malata reached a three year agreement, sixty six million. Extension that includes forty-eight million guaranteed and a twenty million dollar signing bonus per sources. The deal ties Milada to the the Eagles through the twenty twenty-eight season. Um, the twenty-two million per year average puts him behind only the Le- Remy Tunsil, uh, Trent Williams, and Andrew Thomas amongst the NFL's highest-paid offensive tackles. Um, he's a, he's at number four. Um, but I think he's at number one in our hearts. I think. What do you What do you think about that contract? First of all, sign and bonus. You know how he loves those. Um, what I was What I was hoping for was to see if it was going to save some money. Um, but I, I mean, I think his cap is like ten. We'll get into that later. I don't want to jump segments on that. But uh, you, you know what's crazy about about this whole situation with, with Malata is he was a Aussie football or rugby player. And for him to just you know start from the bottom now he's here <laughs> making millions of dollars, 
you know, doing features with Patty LaBelle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, there, it, like you, you gotta, you gotta give what credit's due, man. And it's definitely gotta give credit to uh, to Statlin you and the balance that this that, that this guy has. And I just wish, I wish that like it, it, there's somebody that you can root for. And and it's just dreams come true, man. Dreams come true. Um, I mean, there's that. I remember when he got drafted on, on uh, draft night, um, and he, him, and his boy were crying, and like he, he you know, he, he, I didn't really have family here either. Um, that was a great moment, man. I, I feel like uh, we've seen the leaps and bounds. Uh, I, I feel like him as a, like when you meet him in person, he's exactly how you yeah. might think he is. That's he's a, he's a good spirit, got a good spirited dude. Um, I know Prime made him a, a Prime helmet with the uh, Aussie. Flag oh, on the cool. one side. Uh, he's he's just always been he's always been chill. Yeah. Um, that relationship that he has with J- Jalen Hurts it, it is very genuine. We were at the Jalen Hurts um, uh, event that he had put on, and he was the one player that showed up for his quarterback. Uh, so that relationship is definitely um, something that they're going to grow on. Twenty twenty eight. So he's going to be here for a minute. I think um, when you. On side. Yeah, I think um, overall, I think the offensive line is coming into its own. I know interior-wise, Eagle Eagle fans have questions. Now, obviously, handpick Cam Jurgens, Tyler Steen is he the next uh, mainstay on the interior? I mean, hypothetically, you could say, yeah, you can pencil him in there. But yes, thinking about the squad, you know, you always want to bring in competition. And I'm not saying that he's not that dude yet, because I, I I'm not sure who what he is yet. Um, but I think he showed um, some quality snaps. Yeah, in sample size, uh, Tyler Steen has is shown that he can he can put the anchors down. Um, we but just, we have only seen bite size. So like I was saying, I, there, there's a couple guys that's still out there in free agency, and we got guys that actually attended uh, University of Stout. You know what I mean? Um, I know nobody wants to hear this, but Andre Dillard, he's available. He just got cut by the Titans. You got Big V. Uh, Big V is out there. And okay. you these these are guys that, that you can bring in, and they know what's what's to be expected to be a Philadelphia Eagle. They know what's expected to be in a stat with you. So those are the guys I would kick the tires on. Um, but – those are guys that you can you can do something after the draft, I, I believe. I, you know what I'm saying? Or I, like, there's just so many options, bro. So many options. Now talking about the that depth, you talking about uh, in Jordan Malata's cap hit. We just talked about how much Jordan Malata uh, is making in that contract. This is his cap hit, ten four for the year. Uh, Landon Dickerson, he just he signed a big ass contract as well. His cap hit is five point nine. Cam Jurgens one eight. Tyler Steen one three. Lane Johnson fifteen. Uh, eight, I think Lane has right now. Lane has the highest cap hit on the team. I know Fred Johnson got awarded with some money, um, but he's at one two. And then uh, the rest, you know, Matt Hennessy. I mean, if you look at some of the numbers, obviously you can look at some of the guaranteed money. Now all these guys on the back end um, are getting that guaranteed money, but you know, f- for what it's worth, I mean, I think uh, just looking at the group, the group. I mean, you got two younger dudes. I mean. Melada is 27 now, I think. Leonard Dickerson, but I think that's a, a it's a suitable uh, one-two punch on the left side. If Cam is is, is everything that we th- think he might be, that'll be nice. A young gun right there, uh, and then Tyler Steen or JPJ. Uh, but then you're looking at the age. I mean, Lane Johnson, 34 in a Tybo class. How how uh, many years do we think we have? Uh, if you if I was looking. I was. I was listening to. Uh, uh, what's it? Troy Fontenot, uh yeah. from Washington. Yeah. Uh, tackle, uh, guard versatility. He could probably play any position across the line. That would be kind of sexy, and you'd have to probably move up to get him. From he's the uh, tackle from Washington. I think he would be. He he and you know Stoutland was at the combine working right. these out. So right. I think um, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yeah. What I, I think the part. first, I think the the first tackle will be taken off is probably the tackle from uh, Notre Dame. Um, I can, yo, um, 
I can't remember his name for right now, the top of my head right now, because it saved my life. The tackle from um, Notre Dame. Uh, J- Joe Alt. Yeah, so him and then what you were talking about this uh, from Washington. Um, these guys have great balance. They can And they can move. You can pull them, you know what I mean? So um, sweet feet. Yeah, they, they, you know. And they can fight in the tele- – it was a telephone booth. You know what I'm saying? So, Yeah, Tim, how's my audio? Audio okay? Audio was great. Better now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, we had to go through a commercial for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Mark Brady. says, Stout and you makes dreams come true. I mean, it really does. I mean, at the end of the day, like, you see his – uh that relationship that he has, like, I like watching him and him and Kelsey interact. The guys, uh, I, I, you know, um, we, um, what's, uh, um, Matt Pryor, we, we were hanging out with Matt Pryor's family. Uh, and then, um, uh, we had met Matt Pryor's girl actually is his wife now. Um, but he, she, we, she was saying what Stoutland does as a group and not just Stoutland, Stoutland's wife, they have like this big team dinner, not team dinner, but like an offensive line. That yeah, like yeah. the 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 wives and the girlfriends and the players go out and with Stoutland and his wife, and it's like a whole, you know, like breaking bread. Like it's 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 a unit. Like that that offensive line is uh, you know, I think it's the, like it's the foundation of this team right now. Right, most definitely. And I mean, you can I, I and you know what's crazy is you can tell by what she's what she explained to you it was like when um. I was watching an episode. It was like last year with the New Heights, and it was um, I think it was um, Dickerson and Kelsey, and the way that they were out there serving beers, and he was like, and then I think it was Steph Stoutland came out there, and he was drinking beer with them. You know, it's it's you know not just an occupation and not just a pro athlete. They're human beings, and they have that that great relationship, and that goes a long way because people respect you. You respect them more than your peers. Hmm. Uh, talk about respecting our peers. Shout out to um, shout out to Prime. He's he's at WWE SmackDown. He's a, he he sent me some videos of uh, he was geeking out with uh, he was fan fanboying it uh for a couple of the the wrestlers out there. Uh, I know Rock was out here making jokes about uh you know Jalen Hurts and the Eagles losing the Super Bowl. I didn't really appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know, like they'll come in our city. I like you, Rock, but I'm just saying. Um, um, shout out to Big Big Pudding as well. Um, yeah, but today we, just, we we went live. This is I was on my way. I was about to head out from New York City. I said, I always carry my stuff with me. Okay, so I said I either talk about this later or I get it out of the way today. So I'm like, let's talk about it. Um, now, Danny says, uh, Milada, such a good dude. Met him a couple years ago, the day after we. We whooped the 49ers in the NFC Championship. Happy you got paid. Yeah, I think I think Danny. I think a lot of people do echo the same sentiment. Like, if you've seen him out in the community, he, he stops and takes it. It takes his time, and, and he uh, got good energy, man. Like, I feel yeah, like the people, huh? But think about his story, man. Like, I he, we we talk about the blind side. Like, yeah. Jordan made a lot of story. Maybe I have to talk to him. I'm like, yo, I work in entertainment. Maybe we could do something. Get, yeah, get a movie cool. going. Yeah. Can I get your rights to your, your story? Right. How about that? That would be nice. I mean, like, it would be a funny-ass story. I mean, wasn't there a picture? There's story, wasn't there a, a movie about a, a picture that somehow? Yes. I mean, Kurt Warner had his. Kurt Warner had his. I mean, hmm. it looked like some B actors. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's all those stories. Too. Shout out to Coach Wilson. That's Coach Kelly Wilson. He says Christian Jones from Texas and later round. Um, yeah, I mean they they also they they had a, a thirty visit with um one of the tackles from TCU as well. Uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, Tim Tim Perkins says Stout's next project: DJ Burns, NCAA State Burns. basketball player. <laughs> Yo, Jim Jim Nagy said that he literally put a post out and he said he, he got calls yes. from teams already asking that's what's up hey even though he reminds me of zach randolph <laughs> when he plays ball <laughs> my thing is if if does the player like to get hit like true because a lot of you bas- uh, tim's a basketball player but i'm saying i don't like to get hit. see i, I see, i'm a football player i don't care if you couldn't hit me 
what I'm saying? Oh no, like like in high school, like I was the type like I w- I would get the ball, I'm running out of bounds. I was like, yeah, I was like a little pretty boy. He, he didn't like, but the- I, I would hit. I like to hit. I don't like getting hit. Yeah, you sound a little soft, man. <laughs> You might you might dunk on a motherfucker, but I'm just saying you, <laughs> on the football. If you, you like I, I, um, I, I, you know, we'll see. Uh, but Sports King says I think Steam is going to be Lane's replacement replacement when Lane leaves. You know, he did he did play tackle himself. Um, you know, Mark will always continue to plug for uh, JPJ, JPJ Dear plug Lord. and play JPJ. Plug and play. I'm Shout out to Will. Uh, he says, "What's up, boys? All this O line talk get me going." Hey, man, whatever does it for you. I mean, this photo right here, it it, it does something for me. It just shows me a lot of youth, right? And then Lane Johnson. So when in thinking about the future of this line, it doesn't look bad. It does. It looks. It looks really great at this moment. I just think if they want to add some more juice in there, put a little extra on it, they could. I mean, my, my thing is the interior is very important for Jalen Hurts. Like you saw players, you saw teams get pressure in the in the A and B gaps. Um, yeah, in that middle. Yeah. You know, Cam Jurgens at guard. I don't think he's got the he's got the weight to play. This is the thing, though. We know we know how he's probably gonna. Oh, it has to be second, second to first round that he's gonna go after an offensive lineman. Yes, Chase. I did not like getting hit, but I I, I will lay the wood most definitely. Oh, this, guy, this guy, no diddy, no diddy bro. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Um, shout out to uh, do shout out to Chip. Kelly for bringing Stoutland to Philly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He he brought two things great to Philly: Stoutland and the shakes, the protein shakes. Pro- that was it. Yep, that was, that was it. Rusty, that's that shit that can go with it. Shout out to Puga, everyone's favorite comic in El Paso. Puga. If you're if you're in El Paso, make sure you check out Stephen Michael Puga. He's going to be. Hey, just say you better get your autograph now because then he's going to be like, you know what? You know, you could have known me then. Sure. Fact. So, um, cornerback first round. I'm, you know, Quinn Mitchell tree train is is a real thing. So I, I'm with it. Um, two. <laughs> so I would say two. <laughs> That's wild. Um, it would do, it would, uh, like I'm, I'm with you on that. Uh, Quinn Mitchell or uh, D. Uh, we changed his name. Uh, D. John. Uh, Cooper D. John. Yeah, T. John. D. John. Sorry. Cooper D. John. <laughs> Mark says, I wouldn't want to get hit by Tim. No, did he? Um, <laughs> now, 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 Tim, shout out to Tim Perkins. He says, thoughts on Max Melton. See, Tim, you are you're speaking my mind. Like, like I wouldn't have a, a graphic ready for you, Tim. Like, I was ready for you. You know, like, I was I was already on it. Uh, now, we, we're going to get into that. But the whole talk about... Um, let's be honest. Let's let's just be honest. Um, I mean, we love the player. We love the player, Avante Maddox. We call him Lil Tay Tay around here. Like you don't get you don't get a nickname um, unless we love you, right? So we love the player, Avante. Do we love the injuries? Injuries happen. It's football. But if you think about, you know, his time. Um, in, in Philly, it's been a it's been a rough go in terms of, you know, I mean, coming from, coming as a fourth round pick, what he he's he he you know he he got himself a contract, which is yeah. which is great, you know. But the, the fact that he's missed, you know, he missed fourteen games in twenty twenty three with a torn pec. He missed uh, three, then he missed games um, three different times during the season in twenty twenty two. He also missed three games in 2018, four games in 2019, and six games in 2020. Uh, so you, you had that off the rip. You have to think, um, you know, he might not be as durable as you like. I don't know if he can hold up. <clears throat> I mean, this this is uh, 
this is what our our slot cornerback situation looked like. Shout out to Demi Kemsky um, for this. Uh, but week one, uh, we had Avante versus Patriots. Week two, uh, we had him for the Vikings. Uh, week three, he was out. James Bradbury at slot corner. We don't want that. He's not doesn't handle twitch that well. Commanders, week four, Bradbury again. Week five, Mario Goodrich, UDFA. Week six, we had Bradley Roby off the streets. Week seven, Josiah Scott, um, welcome back uh, tour. That wasn't great. Uh, he held his own, but Sidney Brown, the rook uh, at slot cornerback, didn't like that. Sidney Brown versus uh, the Cowboys, didn't like that. Uh, week 11, Bradley Roby. Uh, coming back from injury, Bradley Roby, week 12 versus the Bills. Against the 49ers, Bradley Roby again uh, for the Cowboys as well. And then week 15, Sidney Brown in the slot. I remember that. James Bradbury um, had no help over the top. That was terrible. Uh, but then Sidney Brown ends up getting hurt, which kind of sucks. We get Avante Maddox back for a week for the Cardinals, the Giants, and then wild card. But Avante Maddox at that time. Shell of himself. Yeah, he got hurt in the Arizona game, didn't he? Or the Giants game? Hmm. It was one of those two. He he was out for half of the game. I mean, Kings uh, Sports King said the best ability, a best ability is availability. That's the best. Um, you know what's you know what's good about Avante uh, Maddox, Tay Tay, as I say, um, he can play multiple positions. You know, I mean, he, he, he plays safety. You know what I'm saying? He can um, play outside, but you don't want him to play outside. Uh, you don't want him outside, though. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it, I, I like him being back, and he's back with his twin. You know what I'm saying? The six six monster Dallas got it. So, yeah. Um, you know, I, I was hoping what I was hoping once he resigned back, they were gonna do that twin. I, I was hoping they were gonna do that video, but they didn't do it. Well, I mean, I I, I know, uh, you know, I know he didn't want to leave, but I, I no. think. Situation. I think he's the level of juice he brings. There's a there's a there's a video the Eagles put out um, over the last season um, of him being injured and what he meant. Yeah, you know, he still showed up to the for his um, you know therapy and all that. But just they said his level of energy. Um, he's a, he's a fan favorite, but also a team favorite in that locker room. Um, right. Kelly asks, uh, can we sign Becton to be a back? Mackay, um, um, Becton from the Jets. He's out there. Okay. Is it Mackay back then? Yeah, Mackay back then. Is he, is he out there? I'm about to see. That's interesting. Yeah, um, that is interesting. Oh, you know who else is out there? And, and people are going to get at me, but Adoree Jackson's still out there. Is Remember, he? Adoree Jackson was supposed to. Yeah, he's still out there. He was supposed to sign with us. I, th- nah, I, thought, I thought he signed him. No, he's still out there. You want to look that up? Yeah, I'm looking it up. That'd be interesting. Uh, yeah, Chase was Chase chimes and he says, Dag, that's a lot of games. Um, it is a lot of games, like, there's there's no laugh, that's a, not a laughing matter. Uh, that's a lot of games that he missed. Uh, shout out to Todd, he said, Where's Devontae's bag? I, th- I think, I think Devontae, I think Devontae's working on that number. I don't think Devontae, I don't think Devontae is going to accept the Eagles' first offer. You, you think? Uh, or he probably he hasn't accepted the year. He probably already didn't accept it. He, I don't think he is. I'm just, I'm just guessing. The I'm thing is, saying. though, you got to worry about. I think with him, you got to worry about is the contracts, and they're comparing him to uh, what was the bull that just signed with the uh, Tennessee Titans? I can't remember his name right now. He was uh, Calvin. Calvin. Uh, Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley. He was supposed to be with us. You got to look at his contract. You also got to look at uh, somebody else got a contract and ain't even that good. Well, he hasn't had a good career so far for the Broncos. Jerry Judy? Judy. I mean, he, he got, got a deal. Paid. Did he, he got paid? The Browns paid. He got traded and he got a deal. So you gotta look at those type of deals. It's not like it's it's all about chain reactions. As you see somebody else get something, you're like, okay, well, if he got that, then why I should be getting way more than that because I'm better than that. I check my stats. Now, Sports Six, how do you feel about Zach McPherson? I think Zach, I mean, coming off a uh, uh, Zach coming off a of Achilles, right? Yeah. Or is that ACL? I think it was Achilles. Was it Achilles? Yes. Uh, Jory Jackson is a free agent. 
I'm just I'm just double checking, make sure McPherson was oh, it. Yeah. Yeah, it was his uh it was his uh, Achilles. And um he, he Oh actually, he towards right Achilles. Yeah. He was actually uh, I think it was him and uh our young bull. Um it was he they were at an Eagles event. It was yesterday or today, I'm not sure. It was McPherson and um a rookie. I can't remember his name right now. I can't remember his name. Rookie corner? Yeah, a rookie corner. Eli Ricks? No, not Josh Eli Joe. Ricks. No. Sit, a, a Sydney, rookie Sydney Brown. I'm sorry. Sydney Brown. They both they both said that they're that they're healthy and they're they're ready to go right now. Well, you, you brought it up, so I'm gonna bring it up. So right. here here's our secondary right now. I didn't get the numbers yet. Um because I, I, I had time today. Okay, so I had time today. But you got Darius Slay, Isaiah Rogers, obviously. Um, you know, he he's suspended right now. That doesn't mean he's sus, guys. Um, Josh Job, um, you know, every everybody liked his his I'd say I, I think you like him as a depth piece. Um go across the way, you have uh, James Bradbury, who's there for now. Uh Kelly Ke- Kelly Ringo and Eli Ricks. I know somebody asked our thoughts on um, Ringo. I thought Ringo at the end of the season, he, he did shine for, you know, he looked stiff in the, in the beginning of the year. I'm just going to be honest. Correct. I'm not going to hold anything back. I just think he looked a little stiff. I think uh, the athleticism, you know, he's he's got the speed. He's got the makeup speed, but at times he looked. But, again, I think um, – if you're thinking, you're stinking, and these guys are doing a lot of thinking on the back end. So I think, I think he's got, um, he's got. I think this is the year to prove himself. Like we saw the flashes last year. Now he's got to show us something. Right. You agree? I agree. I agree. Um, I think what Ringo with him is, and you're absolutely correct. He, him thinking. I think with the experience that he got last year, starting and some playing time, I think it would ease. Um, Ease his mind and, and let the game come to let the game come to him. Um, so I, I expect some big things from him. I'm 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 actually expecting is and I'm excited about is a competition at corner because I don't think that James Bradbury is going to be penciled in as the starting on the other side of you know who big place like yeah. Shout out to AJ now. She said, "Hey boys, what's up, uh, AJ? The voice of an angel, AJ." Um, I mean, he's talk about 30 year old corners. Um, I know Bradbury's about to be what 29, yeah. Um, I think you got the youth movement, Eli Ricks. It, you know, the funny thing is, Terry on um, Arnold, right? Terry on Arnold, Terry on Arnold yeah. from Alabama. He said that his motivation was losing his position to Eli, like Eli Ricks. Ricks, yeah. And I was but- like. I was like, oh, right. I know he's obviously younger, but I was just like, he lost his position, starting position to Eli Ricks. And he said that would never happen to him again. Okay. All right. But I'm okay. I'm saying he <laughs> – <everybody, laughs> that's why I'm going Mitchell. I just, you know, that's my guy. Um, but uh, thinking about uh, the cornerback position, Vontae Maddox, Zach, Mi- Zach McPherson, oh. Tyler Hall, we, he's a versatile piece that we just got from the Raiders. Mario Goodrich and uh, Taiwan Mullen, you know, back end depth, special teams. Uh, looking at the safety position, Chauncey Gardner Johnson, Tristan McCullum, you know, at the moment, just the guy. Um, and you're looking at that safety group, Reed uh, coming back from injury. He just said, we just mentioned the last pod, he got groin, injury, groin surgery. So let's pray for the groin again. Uh, Sidney Brown. Tore his uh, ACL. Did not like that. Um, did not like that. Uh, that. That sucked. So I mean, you that you see you see the space between Sidney Brown. For those listening, there's a graphic on the screen. And there's space between Chauncey and Sidney. You know what that means? Man, there's one person missing. Man, you, we all know who that is. That's supposed to be. That's supposed. To, you know, y'all know who that is. That's supposed to be Mister Simmons. He's supposed to be right there. Get that price down. Get that yeah, price down. Need, I need you to come off that seventeen. Join, join the crew and let's get eleven. 
One you, year. <laughs> one year. One year. <laughs> Just one year. That's all I need. Um, shout out to cousin Kiki in the building. Cousin Kiki, I'm not sure if you had booked your trip to um Rio yet or or, or Sao Paulo yet, but you know you you just reminded me. So I mean, if you guys are looking to book a trip to uh, Brazil to watch the Eagles play, I'm going to be there. I think Kiki's going to be there. It's going to be a whole bunch of people. Shout out to Jesse Wines for the graphic. Uh, shout out to Philly Sports Trips. The Birds take over Brazil August 30th to September 8th. Uh, we got a we got a charter a plane from Philly straight to Rio, then from Rio to Sao Paulo, and then from Sao Paulo back to Philly. I mean, there there's no that's it's one flight. You're not switching flights. It's straight to Rio. Um, if you want to see this offense, that you come on, man. The first time you get to see Saquon. With the Eagles, you have to go to Brazil. And if you want to go to Brazil, hit up phillysportstrips.com and make sure you follow them at Sports Trips BHL for more information. Tell them, tell Vince we sent you. Definitely. Um, yeah, man. I'm crazy. I'm crazy right now. Uh AJ says, I don't remember who who is a safety, who's a corner, what 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 is a nickel? Um psych. psych. Just kidding. Come on, man. <laughs> Sportsky says that Brown is right about Ringo. Hmm. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Uh, Michael says when Maddox is 100%, he's straight. Facts. I just, we rattled off those games he missed, though. Like that, that, the time he made that tackle, I was like, ah, oh, man. He, Remember he, he got, got hurt? Remember he, he got hurt tackling Dak? He got hurt right in front of us. I was like, oh god! I was like, it's it's gonna it's gonna be, it's gonna be. Uh, and he missed he missed mad games. Um, AJ says, "Are you going?" Yes, I'm going. I'm going to Brazil. You, you think I would miss this opportunity? I've always wanted to go to Brazil, but I I, it, I just never found the right opportunity. My 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 oldest brother, shout out to my brother Dwayne, he went to Brazil, and the pictures. And the time he had, we're back. He had a great time. I was like, he took a, a photo on the steps, and he was like, a uh, little uh, Pharrell Snoop Dogg video. I was oh, like, man, dope. come on, man, don't rub it in. Man, Dwayne, 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 Dwayne is this? He's, he's the man, bro. Shout out to Dwayne, bro. Shout out to Dwayne. Um, Mark says uh, Maddox was having a game versus Dallas. To he, uh, he wasn't he? He was about to celebrate, and he went down with the, the foot injury. No, he tackled. He tackled Dak. It was like a loss of like 19, 18 yards. And his foot, his foot went underneath him and then he came down wrong. And yeah. And he went to, and then he, and I don't think he felt it yet. And I guess that adrenaline had him. And he was like, oh, oh, I was like, oh, I didn't get hurt, bro. Go on, man. Um, I'm going back into some of these comments if I missed. Uh, shout out to, to Puga. He says, uh, if you want to see him do stand up, he'll be at the Looney Bin Comedy Club in Little Rock, Arkansas, April 17th to April 20th. Go birds. See, Eagle fans traveling all over the country. Support your, your Eagle fan comics because they're out here. Um, Puga is a, uh, a, a, a solid representative of the nation. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I just think. Uh, I think we're. I think you you want to go into the draft with not having yet pieces. You want you want pieces that are penciled in. You know right. what I'm saying like where you don't have to reach. Uh, now going back to Tim's comment, um, I was ready for you, Tim. Man, I was ready for you. Uh, Mac, Max Melton, uh, me and Tim got an opportunity to see him down at the Senior Bowl. Six foot, one ninety, uh, twenty one years old. You know he, he he's out there. He's got the he's got the ability to play inside and outside. That's what you love from his game. Like uh, you know, I'm I'm geeked to see what he can bring um, to the Eagles if they they brought him in. I think he would like he, he could potentially be your outside corner as well. He could give you that versatility. Right. And he's 21 years old, young. 
Um, what, what, what's your feelings about Mal- Max Mel? Um, I, I like Max. Um, I feel like he was one of those guys that he did stand out uh, at the Senior Bowl, and uh, he took care of business. He he knew his assignments. He was like he was the type of guy like he wasn't shying away from competition. Like he was he was about it. So uh, you when you see young guys like that, you're like, yeah, I, that's that's what I want. You don't want the guys that's like, all right, well, I'm, I'm here, I made it, and I just want to look pretty. No, nah, you want guys that's gonna show up, come to camp, boots, you know, chin 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 strap, everything, boots ready to get dirty. Let's go. So uh, I'm a big fan of Max Nolan though. So and hey, he, Rutgers, bro, that's up the street. Now you ain't gotta go nowhere. It's yep. home. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, he had 60 sn- snaps in the slot. He had 480 s- snaps out wide. Right. Um, you know, he had 58 snaps in the box. Um, so I, I think you, I like his game. Now, this other guy who, you know, for you, Michigan stands out here, uh, Mike Sanders still. Uh, I don't know if I said his name correctly, but I think I'm telling you, you can't outwork Haitians. Bro, he comes <laughs> Haitian parents are strict as hell he comes yeah. from like mike is going to give you the business uh being 510 182 uh he's 23 in the tybo class but yo this dude to be that size and be a captain and, and you know a leader he's a guy that you love his, his uh his leadership he's, he's really a dog so i feel like he, he's a perfect um prospect i'd say i don't even think i don't i don't think he i don't think he makes it out of the second um you think i think him and him and uh you know who um arnold Terran Ar- arnold is terry on arnold, Terran arnold yeah him them two i i, I they're definitely they ter- t- t- they're in terran arnold not making on the first you don't think he's gonna make it on the first Oh hell no! I think I think I think he'll be there in the second on the second oh, round. Man, what are you talking about? Nah, I, there's so many guys out there. In that Arnold, position. Arnold. I think we already know who's the best. Who's the best DB there? I mean, Quince, we Quinya. Bro, I'm telling you, he's he's not making out of the first. Okay. You want to make? gotta put a bet on it. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Shit. Guys, shout out to Mark. He said the, the graphics are next level. Appreciate you know, that. Facts. Can we can we get a can we get a hand hand, hand clap for that? It has been. Yeah. This is like it's super super dope. Super dope. Uh, AJ says, Charmzy said, Haitians got chips on their shoulders because their country is under attack. I'm telling you, man. Haitian, bro, you can't out out out, out work. I'm telling you. Um, sports king says Brown said Ringo was ready that he played him good in practice. Okay, okay, let's see, man. Um, 843 Philly fan says, I'm still begging my wife to go and make it a family trip. She said, Hell no, you ain't slick. Hey, I tried to do the same thing, bro. I tried. Hey, <laughs> I'm bro, I'm taking uh, taking my girl, we're having have a good time. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's. It's something that I'm just gonna say. Put it like this: Life is short. Um, I'm all about experiences. If you've been to a Fourth and John tailgate, that's what we're about: is experiences, enjoying life. Um, I love the Eagles. I love to travel. Why not marry them both together? As well, as well. I'm saying. Can you imagine Saquon Barkley? Just gonna hit, rub it in. Hit, hit, hit it on hitting the sweep. He's he's hitting 70 yards down the sidelines. Must Brazilian fans are going ape shit. Like Eagle fans from all over the globe are out there going ape shit. Come on, man. It's good. Nice. I'm just speaking into existence. Uh shout out to Jay says, What's up, guys? I think they stick with bad Bradbury thinking it was the scheme and the coaches that was his downfall last year. And again, I'm not. I'm not team um, – I saw some deficiencies, but I already knew they were there. Like, I, I, I already knew that um, Bradbury's not a twitched-up dude, and you don't leave, leave him on an island 
on twitchy wide receivers. Right. I already know that. Uh, right. So if if you think about safety help or slot help, you talk think about the thinking and being and thinking. A lot of those guys are doing a lot of thinking. Right. You know, there's so many different corners out there playing right next to them. It's just just, just be honest. I think they were going through a lot. Um, but some people are like, hey man, just throw them to the throw them to the street. I, I'm not I'm not waiting around, but it is what it is. I mean, the, they were they were getting busy uh, in the slot uh, wide receivers. Terry McLaurin eight catches, eighty six yards. Cooper Cup eight catches, one hundred eighteen yards. Garrett Wilson eight catches, ninety yards. Tyreek Hill eleven catches, eighty eight yards. McLaurin again five catches, sixty three yards, a touchdown. C.D. Lamb kills us. C.D. Lamb eleven catches, one hundred ninety one yards. Bills. Six catches. Uh, Dig Diggs uh, had Diggs. six catches, seventy-four yards. Debo Samuel four catches, one hundred sixteen yards, two touchdowns. C.D. Lamb again six catches, seventy-one yards, and a touchdown. So our corners, slot corners, were getting worked. Yeah, they were getting cooked. Um, but, but with that though, I will say this: now they have C.J. D.J. back, right? He can play slot. You you got you. We got pieces where you can you can. You can, you know, mix and match and, you know, give somebody a breather, you know, backup type of role and stuff like that. So that's like the, you know, that's the bright side of it <laughs> when it comes to that slot role. Um, but um, the one I'm actually excited about is Isaiah Rogers. You know, we don't know if he's going to, okay, boom. Uh, we don't know if he's going to be um, sustained or anything was going on with him. But that's the guy right there, man. He's a playmaker. He can play the slot. He also can play a little bit of safety. He can roam around. Um, he's fast. He's a punt returner as well. So, you know. Oh, we'll I, I, I got I got that too. I got that. I got that for you, man. I got that. I'm ready for you, man. Yo, these graphics are just top notch, bro. I am not. I am not playing today. And he's not. <laughs> he's suspended. He's not sus. He's suspended. Okay. Yo, I, I, I gotta take something back. I didn't mean to say to Ron Arnold because that was my fault. I meant to say Kool Aid. My fault. Cool. Oh, since I was like, bro, I was about to. I bet. I said, "What are you talking about, man?" No, I said oh, wait, yesterday. No, you you pay you you paying the money, man. You said twenty dollars. <laughs> said twenty. $20. You paying the money? Don't. I just said to. You, I said, you to said it. You said it on yesterday. camera. You said on it live Monday, on Tuesday. Tuesday, I did. Live. I said it on Tuesday. No, I said I meant to say Kool Aid for some reason. I mean, I don't know why I said him. They both from Alabama. That don't make sense. You know what I meant. Shout out to Sports King. He says, uh, y'all really would play Cooper at corner in the NFL? Like he said laughing emoji. My my thing is like I it, it's the whole, you know, it just is what it is. Like I've had comments from my teammates in college who have sent me <laughs> they they sent first they they sent that uh c- comic stand up. Um I forget his name. He did a whole stand up about uh, white cornerbacks in the NFL. As a, as like a unicorn thing, blah blah blah, and then then I had, then I threw in the chat. I said, "Well, um, Cooper Dejean uh, is is on his way," and and it said Riley Moss play was got drafted by Denver. Um, you go go watch the tape. My thing is, you know, if you look at Fangio's system and the, how he deploys his his corners, and, and if if the, if you like those own corners. That are patient and don't get sketched out um, when they're out out there on the island a little bit. I think he he, he makes some plays, man. He's he's a he's a he's an athlete. Um, I'm a, I'm gonna say that he's an athlete. Uh, his his pump returns. He I'm he's twitchy, but he's got he got this. He he looks a little stiff, but he's he moves well. Um, can dunk. He can he can do through the legs. He can do the three sixty. He's he, he he can play. Um, he's a he's a baseball player, basketball player. Um, go check go check the tape. But my thing is, he can pl- he's, he can play. He's a versatile piece. So if Fangio is looking for that player that you can move around, again, talk about safety. You know, the Eagles don't draft safeties in the first round either. So if they think he's a corner. We'll see. He came. He came in playing safety, but someone got hurt, 
he's been at safe he's been at corner back ever since so um chase says i'm interested in who's going to be at hurt softball game this offseason could be a future we'll be there uh you mean Devontae smith softball game Yeah, Devontae yeah, Smith. I was about to say. I was, yeah, I was, yeah. About to, I was okay. That's why I was. Did you guys see De, uh, Jalen Hurts slide into third base at Devontae Smith's softball game? I bet you you got upset, didn't you? I was like, <laughs> the whole stadium was like, <gasps> and he and he had a raspberry and everything. I'm like, but I'm like, that's how he's built, man. Like he, I'm like, bro, you just sign off. Don't be out here sliding. Yeah. Don't be sliding. Huh? Uh, Devontae Smith's uh, people sent me a, a DM. Um, I guess they will, they want me to promo, but I would love credentials. I'm, I'm saying it right now. Well, you guys, they, 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 they left me. They left me on red last last year. So I send them over. Shout out to his uncle. Shout out to his uncle. <laughs> Chase said he was there. All right, Chase. Okay, we are meeting up this year. So just let me know when you get your tickets. We we'll get the whole squad together. Uh, shout, shout out to Prime. We went. We went last year. It was a good time. Yeah. What was the highlight? You said uh, it was Tio. Oh, said? Tio. Tio. Yeah. Tio went yard. He went yard. I was just said milk that. I want to be a plus one for celebrity base, bro. It was yo. Know, Tio was there. Ocho Cinco was there. It was a great vibe. Mm. Oh, Mark says, wasn't there a rumor that Hertz was injured from that slide? What is? What? I, I don't know about that. I know he did. No, he did have a raspberry on his knee. He 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 cut up his leg. You shouldn't be but, sliding. But I don't know about. Yeah. Did they play a citizen? When they did. No, that? they they played up uh, where the Iron Pigs play up in. Oh, okay. Um, up in uh, Allentown. Gotcha. I think it was Allentown. Yeah, yeah, Allentown. Um, Jay says, "Let's be realistic. Cooper DeGene is the best ball hawk corner coming out of college." Doesn't mean it will translate to the next up, but the talent is clearly there. Uh, he makes plays on, on the ball. Uh, what he had seven picks right in his career. He returned three of those for touchdowns. So those interceptions can become punt returns. I, he, I've seen him break on some balls where it's kind of like he's baiting the quarterback. But it's my thing is like we have this. I'm not gonna say me, but because I, 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 I go back and watch the film and I don't let like the whole it's like you're not gonna you know it's it's really like he's being racially profiled as as, as a corner <laughs> cornerback because that like like do we always have to like it's it's like oh it's it's true. but yeah, it, no, I'm no, like no, oh, just it. watch the tape man just watch the tape yeah. like if you see it you see what you see like you know, he there's just like a lot of interviews out there where the Chris Sims interview was the worst. I was like, bro, could you just let the kid play? Like, how many times are you gonna you gonna talk about? Right. Um, but I'm just saying he he has skill set. I'm just saying, like, do they see him as a safety corner or you know a star I mean, player? You know, yeah. I mean, they. I mean, if you, if you check, I don't know if you guys check it but if you see his scouting report they ba- they're basically saying he's a bigger eric weddle what's up, Yo, what's up PZ? Really? wow peasy out here like peasy wow. out peasy out here just you know peasy out here just i'm just saying <laughs> yeah I've, I've been at some games where like i remember i remember uh when Wentz first came, and they're like, "Oh, the two guys were sitting behind me." Like, it's like, "Yeah, man, he's the great white hope." It's like, "Thank God we finally got a white quarterback." And I was like, "I was like, bro, we we all can hear you, right?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, come on." Well, I mean, what Philadelphia is, the Eagles organization is like the the pioneer of giving black quarterbacks opportunities. Yeah. I think we've had what five. We had Milton. Yeah. The they first didn't. one, he was the first. He was not Randall Cunningham. It was Cunningham, and then Pete, uh, uh, Roddy Pete, right? Roddy Pete, Pitt, and then Cunningham, uh, Cunningham, Pitt. and then um, Jalen McNabb hurts. Oh yeah, McNabb. Um, my thing is, if they think he's Weddle, 
Who said that? Jeremiah called him Whittle. Jeremiah called him. I mean, that's that's if Jeremiah is for Jeremiah. Well, well, I'm saying if Jeremiah calls him Whittle, uh huh. Um, is that how the Eagles see him? Great career, bro. Yeah, but I'm just saying, do does he see him as a safety? I mean, he's the Eagle guy. Jeremiah's the Eagle guy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. (laughs) Uh, Will says I joked about the great white height, but I'm more concerned about coming off injury. I lost Sydney anyway. Um, yeah, he he had a uh, you know broken fibula. Yeah, um, clean break, clean break. I my my thing is I don't I don't like I don't like players coming off injury early either. You know, but it's a broken bone, like broken bones. Like, yeah, I, I don't know shit about. It's broken not bones. like it's not like a Peyton. Uh, it's not like Peyton was it Walton? Uh, Peyton uh, the linebacker from um, what's was it? What's oh, it? from NC State. Yes, like it's not. We're not talking about somebody like him or Latu. Even though I would take a chance on Latu, if Latu's there at twenty-two, you go and get him. That right Wait, there, yo. Woo. But Latu's, he had to medically retire. Uh, UCLA doctors Bro. were like cleared him. Then he had to get some some something fused. His neck fused or something. Yeah, he had to get his neck fused. But That's Bro, crazy. That, his talent though, he is talented. Though. I'm just saying. Like you're talking about skill. no, I, no, I, I love, I love Latu. I, I love, I love, like we, like me and Tim were actually watching Latu at Senior Bowl closely, and it, he was just like getting by linemen so quickly that it was like laughable. Like people were in the crowd was like, "Did you just see that?" Like the scouts were like in awe, but I'm like, um, yeah, Peyton, he's got, he's got ACLs. <laughs> He got two ACLs, one high school, one in college. He's also got some shoulder stuff. Correct. Um, but I think if you're going to take a risk on a player in the third, we don't have a third. But if you, t- I think on his traits, you probably like it. But I'm saying, PZ says safety is different than corner, though. Okay. But the Eagles don't even draft safeties in the first round either. So, I mean, because let's be, let's think about it. We could have had Kyle Hamilton. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would, they, if you Kyle's guys a difference maker, he's a difference maker. If you guys like, <laughs> if you guys like the draft or like GM talk, there was a great, um, there's a great podcast. Um, there's a there's a podcast out there uh, from, um, at, well, I think Eric DaCosta, the uh, GM for the the um, for the Ravens. Um, and he talks about his climb to becoming a pros- draft prospect. I mean, a GM. Uh, and he, t- he talked about the his draft process. And then he did, he did give shout outs to Howie Roseman. That's like hmm. one of his best friends. He said he's got five GMs that he actually like hangs with. And Howie Roseman is his the most respected GM that he knows, but he was talking about that uh, Kyle Hamilton moment where Kyle H- Hamilton was on the board and he said that they already had Chuck Clark in there and they were, already had somebody else. And he mentioned about, he couldn't pass him up. Um, Cause you know, you talk about ver- need versus actual right. uh, player on the board. And he said his, his ability was, was too good to pass up. And he loved that the fact that they got him. And I, and I, you know, if Jordan Davis doesn't become that three down player, I'm gonna be a little hot. Facts. Because Kyle Hamilton, shout out to Evan Hollywood Hearn. Uh, he was he was leading the Hamilton oh, stand club, pounding, pounding the table for Kyle Hamilton. I remember that draft. We were all we were we were in the, <laughs> the we were we in the club suites, and he was just Kyle Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton. <laughs> Shout out to her, man. Shout out to Hollywood. Mm. Uh, Chase says, "Dog, if I get my next fuse, I'm I'm getting a handicap license plate. Not playing. That's but that's his love for football. But he was also a rugby player. He said, uh, you know, he he would love to play rugby too, but he's not going to. Um, hey, man, you you just I like I like the, I like his skill set. I you know I spent how long was I trying to get an interview with Latu? Uh, it, 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 but it got to it got to the point where I, I I was like, bro, 
I feel so you're making me feel desperate now. <laughs> and then this dude was trying to like move in on the line. I was ready to not not that I'm a violent dude, but I was ready to swing. I was like, bro, if you try to cut me, yeah. And he was like, hey man, so <laughs> every and it, everybody wanted to talk to him. Not to everybody, wanted yeah. To talk to him. And he was the type of guy he wasn't doing those simple one, two, three questions. He was like verbally going off on everybody, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, in a good way, just like you know, explaining like you know the the, the answers and answer people's questions. So, but he was a beast, bro. But he was the best edge at senior ball. Yeah. Um Sports Kenny asks, would you rather have Branch the safety lines drafted or Nolan Smith? I mean that's it's a it's a interesting it's just I mean we 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 love all the we love both players, but I I we did love Nolan Smith more um than Branch at the time. I like Branch. Better than Nolan? Yeah, I like Branch coming out. Okay. But again, Eagles who don't draft safeties in the first round. I know, I know, but I'm just saying. I mean, I, I, Branch was a killer, though. Um, speaking of killers, uh, Jay says Ravens always have killer defenses for decades now. Facts. I, but I, I love to. Hey, I'm telling you, uh, I forgot to say where the podcast is. Um, but it's a great podcast, man. Um, it's with. Um, it's called Next Up with uh, Adam Brenneman. Um, it says, go listen to it because it because it really makes you start thinking about how the Eagles are ready for the draft and how they're going to approach the draft and um, the way that if if Eric hangs out with Howie, they're probably on the same, same wavelength. Way. So just listening to him talk about um, the draft process, it's a great um, for you for you geeks out there. If not, if you're not if that you're not about the draft life, I'm I'm cool, and you just want to sit back and let the draft come to you, and you not actually know what's happening, and just like I'm happy to be here. Right. I can't. Would you wait. like to actually know what's happening? Just tap in. Tap in. Can't wait for the draft. Tap in. Uh, Will, Will says. Question, that, go ahead. Quick question before you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Are you getting a draft hat? I saw it. It's nice. I like this one. It's, it's simple. Right. It's, it's simple. Right. It's all right. I like this one. That's all. I'll probably buy it. I buy all of them. <laughs> This is the, oh man, the one a couple of years ago. One, yeah, I did. Oh. I passed on that one. Was it the? I remember one year I, I didn't. I didn't. It was all shiny. It was the shiny one? It looked like the it, chrome. The chrome. It was, it was a no diddy. Uh, it was a, it was a shiny suit wrapper hat. I said, Nah, I'm not buying that. I'll say no diddy. <laughs> no diddy, bro. No diddy. Uh, Chase says, "I'm a listen. I want to be one of knowledgeable when it comes to the job." Hey, I'm telling you. That, um, it, it's kind of crazy because he he was a uh, he was a he was like a, a grad student. Um, I think he, he he just graduated. I, th- I think not Wesleyan, but he was just talking about like trying to get into coaching and trying to get get into the process of becoming a. He's like, how do I become this GM? And he went on a path. He sent letters, and he ended up getting an internship with the Ravens. And changes the whole life, um, but that's that's the kind of thing. I, I after the end of the podcast, I was like, you know what? Maybe I went, I'm in the wrong field. Hmm. Maybe I'm going to quit my job tomorrow. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Um, shout out to Marcus. Is going to do a draft live again this year, or are you going to the tent? I want to go to the draft, but uh, I got picked for jury duty. Sucks. Killing me, dog. Sucks. I didn't get picked. I, I get. I get jury selection. So I'm gonna go in there acting like real crazy. I might not take a shower for like three days. About to go in there like stink one. <laughs> I'm telling you. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I I'm hopefully I don't get, like your boy David. I hopefully I don't get. I'll, I'll just start scatting in the corner like wow. for no reason. Um, yeah, it's not a good scene, man. Like I. My my last jury selection I got picked was the worst experience. Like the case was very serious. I can't tell you about the case, but when we left out out of the courtroom, 
we got attacked by the family members. Not me personally, like they were on their way, but yeah. they had to give us protection. And I was like, bro, this is the worst experience. I, I wouldn't wish that on any. <laughs> I, said, I said, I was sitting there and the only, I don't really, nah, maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Yo, my man I, said OJ did it. <laughs> Tell him OJ did it. I said, I said, oh, you wild out, Chase. <laughs> Uh, man, I was like, this is the worst experience. I was like, I don't want to ever want to do it. And here we are four years later. That's not bad. So speaking so of you got picked like four years ago, do you gotta go back? Yeah, they, they coming again. Damn. You just got bad luck with that, man. I was like, bro, come on, man. I got selected twice. Well, to selection, but never been picked. Sports King says Branch was a a, a 30th pick. Still first. My got my G. When was the last safety the Eagles drafted in the first round? I have man, it's been a minute. None, it's none, been a minute. I don't think so. When was the, when was the last cornerback drafted in, in the first round? Lido Shepard. What year was that? 2002? 2002. 2001, something like that. I'm about to do graphics on that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on, a, on all these draft uh, questions. Um, Damn. Yeah. Damn. That was a long time ago. Twenty something years ago. I've been asking for people like, what do you what do you say to get out of Jersey? Jay says, just tell them you don't trust yourself and you might side with the bad guy. That sounds crazy. I don't know if I'll do that. The, it's the most random people in there in a room. One guy was a FBI. Uh, he was like a lawyer who was talking about his Tesla trucks. And there was one dude who was ready uh, to jump out the window. And then it was like soccer moms. And it was like the most random group of people in one room. And you all have to come together on a decision or you will be stuck in that room. So we were there for like four days, bro. Oh, hell no. No, man. No. I ain't. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Will says, come in, come in with a scully over one eye and hanging out the back. <laughs> yeah, you want you to come in there looking like a pirate. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm, I'm just saying. Dress up as Jack Sparrow. You be like, I heard matey. <laughs> You're like, I'm a pirate. I'm here for the jury selection. Not it. I'm here for the jury selection, Mike. <laughs> um, but uh, before we get out of here, um, we wanted to uh, do a quick mock. Want to do a quick mock? Let's do it, man. Let's Just one it. round. One round. I got to get on the highway. One round. I got you. Everybody knows the rule. One mock. Yeah, you're on a 95, huh? Um, but uh, before we get out, I also want to make a big shout out to uh, Bud Light for holding all the tailgates down over the years. Always been a supporter of us. Shout out to Concha Hawk Italian Bakery. Uh, shout out to Tina and the family. 51 years of coolness. Can't go wrong with them. And shout out to Red Bull giving our tailgate wings. And if you need, if you've never tried a tomato pie from Casa Hawkins Bakery, please go to a Fourth and John tailgate and please try one. And please look at the design. The design, it, it, some of the designs are so dope. But I mean, I think the, the Fourth and John logo, one of the dopest logos out there. We got the big play sleigh look, uh, big play sleigh. What was the other one? My favorite one. I'm trying to think. The, the prime, the prime mask. We need to get a Gail Saunders one for Gail. We need to make a Gail Saunders appreciation day. Nah, that's I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm low key. I don't that is facts. I'm low key. Um I just want to talk about my Eagles, man. That's all. That's that's what makes me happy, man. That's all I all I want to do is talk about the Eagles. Yeah. Then we gotta make a draft one. Is that bad? Sometimes I'm like, bro, I just want to talk about the Eagles. I learned it from my dad. Shout out to my dad, man. Shout out to your father. Shout out to my dad. He He's the one that started it. Um, speaking of starting things, uh, let me get this mock draft ready. Um, yeah, I keep on uh, – I start. I started to do mock drafts where I'm, I'm drafting the uh, lineman from Washington, moving up, trading that pick. Oh, so you're trying to get a little different. I'm just, I'm, you know, because these mock drafts are here for. You can't keep doing the same mock draft. Yeah, I know. These are, 
you're even even your 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 eagles are doing the same exact thing. They are, are they are mocking different scenarios. You you, you want to be ready for everything. Yeah, I get you, but I just believe is trying to try to get into the Howie Roseman thought process because you know he's always going to go in the trenches first. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm with that. Like I'm I'm I try to. I mean that's trenches. That's that's trenches, my guy. Can you see everything? Everything good? Yeah, I see it. All right. Uh, now, uh, if you guys, people that are watching live, if you would love to be a part of the this mock draft, chime in in the comments. For you guys listening, tomorrow, the next day, um, you're just gonna have to go along for the ride. And if you want that, uh, be a part of the. Uh, um, the draft room you need to be here live shout out to the people here live uh so we're gonna go we're gonna go live now uh, with this mock draft simulator we're gonna go public versus pff board we're gonna go right in the middle uh and we're gonna do draft needs right in the middle i gotta say less randomness you want more randomness yeah i want more all right, I give you. Gotta that. act like this is a real draft. I, I gave you. I give you a little random. We're real, real draft mode. This is a uh, money ball. All right, hitting the button. <laughs> start the draft. We we're gonna just mock it out. We didn't trade up on this one. Uh, players that went off the board five picks ahead of us. We'll start. Um, we'll start from uh, fifteen. Terry and Arnold, um, mm-hmm. the guy that Tim said wasn't getting out of the first. I fixed I it. I was Kool-Aid. thinking Kool Aid McKinstry. I meant to say Kool Aid. <laughs> Jared Verst, uh, I've been oh, talking about him, uh, FSU edge player. Cooper DeJean um, goes 17th to the Jaguars. Byron Murphy, Byron Murphy, I've been, I love this dude. I love his game. Fashanu, the tackle from Penn State, goes to the Rams uh, at the 19th pick. JC Latham, tackle. Goes to the Steelers with the twentieth pick. Uh, Johnny Newton, the defensive uh, um, tackle, he's plays with his hair on fire. I love his game. Um, and if you look at the board, a lot of tackles. Uh, Troy Fontenew goes off thirteen. This is where I've been trying to move up. Wow, you see what I'm McCarthy to the to the uh, McCarthy's, McCarthy's going early, folks. Yeah, I'm about to say, man. Quin- Quinion Mitchell in this mock draft goes number eight to the Falcons. Wow. So um, that's what we're working with. So on the board as we speak, Nate Wiggins, cornerback from Clemson, Marius Mims, the hulking left tackle with limited experience. Uh, he had like eight starts this year, ended up getting injured. Um, it's, it's funny that he, like, he doesn't have a lot of experience. Kool-Aid McKinstry coming off a of list Frank. That's Frank injury. Injury. Um, we have JPJ, the center guard, tackle versatility. He's got uh, Graham Barton, also tackle guard versatility. Uh, Tyler Newbin, safety from Michigan, uh, from Minnesota. Peyton Wilson, from linebacker from NC State that we talked about that is probably broke as we speak. Um, and Brian Thomas, junior, LSU, wide receiver, Tyler Guyton from Oklahoma, the tackle, who's main Lane Johnson's mentee. Um, Man, there's no pass rush here. That's uh, see, I'm just gonna go with my gut here, and uh, I think I think Jackson Power Johnson right now. The JPJ, yeah, I he agree. gives you like versatility. versatility, and then set it, forget it. Like he would. I feel like he would lock up that right guard spot. Correct. But I mean, how are you guys? What does the chat say? Um, I haven't got anybody to chat yet. Uh, chat. Um, you know, the other thing, Joseph, Joseph, Joseph Delphi makes a good point. Zach Vaughn will have a bigger impact than we all anticipated. Anticipated. Uh, he he plays the Van Grinkle. Van Ginkle role for um, for uh, Fangio. I think he, he, if you go back and watch his Wisconsin tape and see how he's deployed. Yeah, I was watching the Senior Bowl interview and how he he 
you know, he, they play like in a base three, four and how he was used. Um, I think that's, that's what they see in him. He was, um, he was more of an edge to me. Um, but he can play a little bit of linebacker. He can run. He can run a little bit. Not so much well good in coverage, though. So how how you feeling right now? You you want to be safe here? And I'm gonna yeah. I'm, I'm like Wiggins. I'm going in the trenches. I'm going in the trenches. I'm going JPJ. Um, so, so shout we, out to Mark Bird. I know he would be the one to saying, "Go Ducks, go." <laughs> it's not yeah. It's not the sexy pick, but I think yeah. it's it's a solid pick. Right. Um. People are like, what about Steen? I'm like, if he, is, he, is the guy, if he's the guy, I will totally back off right. and be, I'm, but you know, my guys aren't there. So uh, at the 50th pick, ah, 49th, right before us, Ricky Pierce goes off the board. board. Roman Wilson goes off the board. Two route technicians. Uh, J- Javon Buller, the safety, goes to Georgia for, from Georgia, goes to the Jags. Chris Broswell, Edge from Alabama. Um, let's see, any R- Rake Straw, a guy a lot of uh, people have the Eagles selecting. Um, but I think he ran like a 4-6. Four, 4-6 six. Four, six is still fast. Uh, I don't like it at 4-6. I, I know, but it's still fast. You know who also ran a 4-6? Who? Lasseter from, from – uh, Oh, you did. Kamara Lasseter from – Yeah. Bro, I'm, I'm saying 4-6 is for a corner. I mean, if you if you can rely on your technique, you should be fine. There's, we all know sometimes you got to bell out that uh, situation. <laughs> so. I'm just saying, like you look at a, uh, you look at um, Rasu Douglas. That four, that four, when he got drafted, he was a four six guy too. But when you mm-hmm. saw him against Terry McLaurin, what did you see? I saw McLaurin. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like the technique. I like the anticip- anticipation right. that, uh, you know, he he'll pick off some throws. For sure, in his but own you look. See, but you see, with with like Russell Douglas, that's the the more experience that he got, the more better that he got. Um, but still, I just think, I, and and then on top of that, when he came to Philadelphia, he didn't fit in that. He didn't fit that scheme with uh, Swartz. He didn't fit it. He's um, also six three six four corner. So, so we have a uh, Adisa Isaac, um, Edge Penn State. We talked about him on the last podcast. Guy. Um. We also have uh, Jatavian Sanders, the tight end, who also had a had a meeting with the Eagles. Um, wide receiver Jermaine Burton from Alabama. Joan Ellis, his brother, is actually on the squad right now. Rook Ororo uh, from Clemson. Keon Coleman, the Florida State wide receiver, also running the four sixes, but runs the alley well. So immediate short uh, short game he. He's got you on lock there. Um, I don't know. Marshawn Marshawn Nealon's been getting a lot of pub lately. Um, uh, Dan Brugler said Marshawn Nealon. Um, he would not be surprised if he he says he's calling it now. Marshawn Nealon in the first round. Oh, okay. So, uh, guys on on the board right now. I mean, oh, I say Andrew Edger- Cooper. I think this would be a phenomenal perfect. pick. That's perfect. I'm just back to back rounds. You go in the, in the trenches. Perfect. So, uh, Adisa Isaac comes off the board. Um, Jermaine Burton, you know, the Steelers love wide receivers. Yeah, I think, I'm surprised uh, they didn't go with the Keon Coleman, though. That's surprising. So, the, right now, I mean, the Eagles have not drafted a wide receiver yet. I mean, Jalen Polk, I mean, he's a guy that he can go up and get it. I think he's. He'd be an interesting pick. I've seen him. Hi, right, bro. I'm, 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 I'm rolling the dice. I feel like I've been, I've been, you know, we got, we also have Xavier Worthy. Oh, Junior calls, bro. Come on. Yeah, we're, we're not drafting two linebackers, though. Oh, damn. Would you, would you, I, I, I would be. Oh, out. Xavier Worthy is right there, too. All right, well, Ren and Stimpy. Which one are you, Stimpy or Ren? <laughs> Xavier is built like an animal. Built this like dude Debo. is he built like DK. Oh, DK. I'm sorry, DK. He, he trains with Debo Samuels, but I, yeah. I, I think, are you more apt to uh, go with speed? 
So this is the thing. I mean, Worthy knocked out the box. Yeah. Knocked it out the box. In the so this box. is the thing for me with, with Xavier Worthy is speed kills. Can Is he going to be that one-trick pony? <laughs> That's like the biggest thing. You know what I'm saying? Like we've drafted guys where you're like, oh, man, speed kills, and then they can't even get on the field. Um, oh, Xavier Leggett, bro. He, high catch point. Um, but we already have that in AJ. Hey, but, but if you – two of those – Right, I know, but you know, and, and it, it was, oh, Devontae Parker, you're getting cut. You're not even making a squad. Wait, I, I watched this. Uh, shout to Brent, Brent Coleman, Brett Coleman. Uh, he he put a thread about um Xavier Leggett, Kyrie J- Jackson though. Kyrie Jackson's right there. Yeah. Oh, uh, 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 too many. That's too many. That's, that's too many. Pack twelve. Too much. So, <laughs> Mark would be a happy man right now. <laughs> Peasy says, I would love a right guard for Saquon Barkley in a dominant run game. Bro, it's, it's not that's, no, that's, that's, that's sexy. Now, Joseph, Joseph Delphia says, uh, he's speaking my language right here. He says, Marshawn Lloyd behind Barkley would be unfair. Bro. If you go listen, we have, our, we have an interview with Marshawn Lloyd. Go to our YouTube channel. Check out the Marshawn Lloyd interview. Great. The, the, the brethren went, is from Wilmington, Delaware. He grew up an Eagle fan. Bro woke up at four o'clock to drive from Delaware to Maryland just to go to high school. Him and his mom would drive down there. This is you, the mindset. Like I was just talking about, I was like, tell me the story of like your journey from those drives at like four o'clock in the morning with your moms to now. And he, the way he told, told the story, it's just like a kid's built different. Like I'm, I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it now. He's built different. I would love, I would love, Marshawn Lloyd. <laughs> Random says, back in my day, they made us run forty in full pads. Sound <laughs> <laughs> like old <laughs> uh, head. Joe, Joe, Joe. I'm gonna say Jose. He says, I ran a four six in high school. That's fast. In mine. I'm sorry. That's fast. I ran a 4.39. For an NFL corner, 4.6 is slow. Yes, so. yes, yes. But it is like, I want to say though, like, people are like, oh, man, that's mad slow. Like, no, it's actually pretty fast. So, I mean, Mark Bird saying worthy here. Um, Jose Delphia is also saying you almost have to pick worthy here. What is Philly missing? Yak. Speed. 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 Talk about we, you know, they would always talk about that four three, eight speed of uh, Quest, but this is four two speed. Um, I'm about to go. I'm about to go with Xavier Worthy. Okay, all right, we gotta do it. The lecture, you know, what I mean, the lecture, no, you a, know, bro. I'm, I'm a no. At this point, yeah. Oh, like, okay. So, okay. I don't want to like Xavier Worthy in the first. That's not where I'm drafting no. Worthy. If he's around here. He had some juice. Um, I think uh, he, you know, he models his game after Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson. So we went with Worthy. Jackpot. That's some too light ass for wide receivers, though. Yeah, true. I, I forgot someone had mentioned Tyrone Stacey, the run, running back from Purdue. Uh, you know, crazy. I never see Blake Chrome on any of these drafts. Blake who? Chrome. Is it Chrome? Oh, Chrome. Yeah. Yeah. I never see him on this. Never. He, go, he goes early. Oh, really? I would have man if Jarvis Brown Lee was around, I would I would pick him up. Um he yeah. went right before a pick at 120. Tyke Smith, Tyron Tracy, Javon Solomon, who had a, a visit with the Eagles, Cade Stover, tight end from Ohio State, to name name a few. So we're 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 at JPJ. We've got the right guard um to set it and forget it. Um we'll let him battle it out with Steen. I think you can't go wrong there beefing up this offensive line for Saquon Barkley. Right. Second pick in the uh, at 50, we went with Edrin Cooper. We're talking about guy with range. You know, you, this is the linebacker range for the Eagles if you're, you're trying trying to draft high. If they double, they try to pick linebackers in the second round, in the third round as of late hasn't hasn't really hit. I think 
um, that, that would be this would be a great opportunity. We're in the fourth round. Uh, Trevor Keegan is on the board. We haven't gone cornerback yet. We haven't gone safety yet. I think, you know, Cam Hart would be interesting. Yes. Uh, we also have – we already went wide receiver. Nia Smith, yak specialist, also played running back. He had a, he's had he has a visit with the Eagles as well, I think. Oh, damn! But hey, but if you got damn. JP, where'd you find this? <laughs> but if you, I don't, I don't think Cooper. I really don't think Cooper's going to last to the no, fourth round. He wouldn't be there. No. So if we're going to be realistic, Cam Hart, meet a corner, I need safety actually. If you don't sign Simmons, oh, he, we're going we're gonna to get Simmons. All right, we're going to go get Simmons, okay? All right, let's see. Malik, let's Malik see. Washington is very interesting as well. Uh, here, Kelly Wilson talked about Christian Jones, the tackle. Christian Jones, I like de- to. De- developmental. You know what? Let's go there. Let's go with Christian Jones. Are we still – you think we can wait? Uh, 130. I mean, tackles. What, what's our next pick? BB, that right there, that is just – real life, though, he might be. What is this fourth round? Fourth round. You want to go to yeah, Cam? He would not be there. I like Cam Hart. I, you know. I, I, All right, we'll go. We'll go Cam. We got a we got a cornerback t- to add it to the room. There's a lot of cornerbacks that are just a lot of question marks. Yeah, he can run too. Cam Cam can run. I'm All right, we'll go. We'll go Cam. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. You know. I'm not. I. I if did Jim it. Nagy, if Jim Nagy tweets about you, you yeah, something. It's, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Oh, I like uh, 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 Brady. Bo B- Brady. Brady. I like Brady. Malik Mustafa from Wake Forest. Mm, that's a good one too. Your boy Dylan. Your boy Dylan. We need a running back. Yeah. He he would put he would put uh, Britton Covey in 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 a bind. We always go. To, we this we start getting the same. I know, different. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying to do something different. I'm trying. Uh, we I would go Bill Brady. If, if that, I would do Brady. Bill Brady. Okay. Yeah. We went Bill Brady from uh, from uh, Maryland. Um, Dylan Johnson. That's a nice one. Oh, and then I always go Jaheim Bell here. Jaheim Bell. Yeah. Oh, although. Oh. Luke yeah. McCaffrey. We went. We went. Luke McCaffrey. We got we got two wide receivers. We went two wide receivers, man. People are gonna say, "Why would you go two wide receivers, dog?" Competition is everything. Remember and then um, I'd say, <laughs> we need another tight end, especially a tight end with weaponry like that. Oh man, that's a Batman utility belt, bro. I mean, this is what the tight end room looks like. Look, yeah, like nah, bro. Bell would his versatility in positions would just be insane. Um, I know we haven't really seen that much from Albert O, but man, I hate Bell just I like Grant Car- Carl Cantera. I do like him as well. But he's more of a blocking tight end. So. Should we go different on this one? Yeah, let's go different. Mm. There's uh AJ Barner from Michigan. A tight end. A tight end. It's a different tight end. <laughs> it's different. Or you can go Drake Nugent, another center. Yeah, but I yeah, I I'd go. I'm gonna go Jaheim Bell. I can't. Help it. <laughs> <laughs> can't can't help it, man. Can't help it. Uh, Frank Gore Jr. We haven't uh, we haven't drafted a running back. Um, hey, Johnny Dixon. That's my guy right there. I think this is where. You could either go Jalen Ford. I think yeah. you could also, if you want to get a developmental tackle, um, Isaiah Davis. I mean, look at our running back room. Look at the look at the running back room. Look at the running back room real quick. Running backs: Tyrion Davis, Price, uh, and the guar- guarantee money isn't crazy there. Lou Nichols, uh, Kenneth Gainwell. Like, 
this, this I mean, there are running backs on the street right now. That I, I will hate to say this. I, I don't want to I don't mean, but um, people's price, he's he's going to be good. He was good for the Niners. The problem was that that, back, that that running back room was stacked. But what he did in the preseason for the Niners, dude can play. Bull can play. Uh, Davis Price, he can play. Mm. Okay, we don't say we're we not drafting a running back. Want to go somewhere else? Hey, competition. Nah, we can, let's go Isaiah Davis. Okay, Isaiah Davis. Yo, um, yo, make sure you also Brandon Coleman, who has a visit with the Eagles. Oh, I forgot about it. I didn't see him on there. Developmental tackle. We do need a draft lane's replacement now. This is developmental. Stoutland, though. He, he, he got he got Ozzy. He, he, he liked, got an Ozzy to never play football before. And look at him. He's made a hundred mil. Uh let's see. Anyone Ooh, else? Got Ali. Sheree. Rasheen Ali. Yeah. Uh how about we just go um you want to go a running back here, or you want to go a tackle? Uh, you know what? I went last time, or did you go get Jaheim Bell? I went Jaheim Bell. Just, okay, you went Jaheim Bell. Shoot, this is hard. Daquan Hardy. Four, though. Damn. Go ahead. I mean, look at the linebacker room, bro. It's nothing. I know, I know. The, the linebacker room is nothing. This, and Dylan's gone, huh? Look, I mean, this is. Stack. Huh? That's a little stack. That's a little stack. That's a little stack. I think we need another person. But the person I'm thinking is uh, Simmons. The other Simmons. One's up, up. Isaiah Simmons. Okay. Isaiah yeah, Simmons. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm That's what I'm thinking. So in my mind, he's our – because he's on he's on my squad Madden. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, damn, this is hard. This is a hard one. I go, right, I'm going to go with a, I'm gonna go with the tackle. I'm going to go with the tackle. Which one? Let's go with Brandon Coleman. Brandon Coleman, TCU tackle out of <sighs> TCU. <laughs> TCU tackle out of TCU. So uh, we're ending our draft for those who are listening to the podcast. Uh, Jackson Power got Johnson. A got a C minus for that pick. Um, they said wow. they said the draft Nate Wiggins is better need is a better need. Uh, we went with Edron Cooper, linebacker from uh, Texas A&M. Xavier Worthy adds instant juice to the Eagles' offense. He's a different element to the offense. We talk about taking the top off the defense. With we're talking about space, space guys that can create space. Uh, our our two two wide receivers in um, AJ and Devante route route runners. Right. Um, I feel like this would be crazy to have Worthy. Running, wrote, and then Dallas Goddard in the seams. Come on, dude. And then fucking Saquon at the backfield. Come on, bro. Uh, Cam Hart. We saw him down at the Senior Bowl. We, we're going with Jim Nagy on this one. We went Bo Bray from Maryland in the fifth round. And then we went back in the fifth round with Luke McCaffrey, uh, also another Senior Bowl player. Jaheim Bell. We like his game as a, he's a different tight end. I think he could be a guy that. Maybe you could take Calcutta's role. Uh, and we went with Brandon Coleman. Blocking, though. He's not much of a blocking tight end, though. This is, this is a guy that you put the ball in his hands, he's going to make something happen. He can play running back, tight end, fullback. Brandon Coleman also could be a UDFA, too. So Very true. So, I mean, hey, we went different on this mock draft just to see how things uh, – I mean, we are getting some different same guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm not gonna lie. I, you literally made me. I, you literally made me go out of my comfort zone because I'll just go right back to my players. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, PZ says this draft looks solid. He says, I, uh, PZ says, PZ says I haven't geeked out over the draft this year as I usually do. I need to study. Um, Mark says, what round is Buck, Bucky Irving going in math mock drafts? Probably around the third. That's why I think the, the run for running backs will be around the third. Third round. Jay asks, is Worthy sure-handed? Because another Quez Dropkins that can't track a ball, let alone catch. I seen some focus. I did see some focus drops, but I, I do uh I did hear that he cleaned those up this season. And he's not he's not a body catcher either. Quez was a body catcher. He's a better route runner than Quez. Yeah, and, and Quez. Yeah. 
That's the thing. Que- Quez, route runner, that wasn't really. You just relied on the speed. Jay says, good draft. I take it. Hey, man. Um, Appreciate it. Again, uh, Andrew chimes and he says, uh, Sixers up at half versus Yo. Miami and B with 20 and one at the half. Let's go Sixers. Am I supposed to get back in the Sixers right now? Yes, because it beats back. Okay. Just like uh, who, who was it? Uh, Hollis. Hollis said, don't be scared. <laughs> Shout out to Hollis. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Hollis. Um, but before we get out of here, um, shout out to all you people in the chat. Shout out to 330 people hanging out with us at this moment. Appreciate, Appreciate you guys. Um, how about a uh, last word before we get out of here, Tim? Yeah, man. Um, Gail, appreciate you for the graphics, bro. This it, it did your thing, man. Um, appreciate <laughs> appreciate everybody for supporting the brand, man, and, so, and just you know hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, shout out to uh, Red Bull, Bud Light, Kasha Hawkins, uh, Philly Sports Trips, and uh, yo, keep the faith. Go Birds. We appreciate y'all. Thank you. Uh, last word, yeah. Shout out to all the people in the chat. Shout out to you, everyone who's uh, riding with us during the draft. Um, we're still not sure what we're doing during the draft. The Eagles are having a draft party. I, someone reached out um, today, asked about tickets. I don't think they've been on sale yet. Um, we are doing the the uh, Eagles Autism Challenge. We'll have our thing set up soon. So if you guys want to uh, get down with us, walk with us. If you want to come out and donate and be a part of our team, let us know. Um, we met a lot of people last year that came out and walked with us. We, we've had a team for the last four years. It's been a great time, a uh, great opportunity to meet the whole team and see all the new players, uh, see all the new pieces. It, sh- it should be a good time. First time you get to meet all the draft picks as well. Oh, that's cool. I'm pretty sure there's no bro, AJ. No, bro. no AJ, no, uh, no AJ. No, they were there. Well, yeah, last year. This year? No. We, we, got, we got hit by a car last year. Oh, he, he's, he's going he's gonna to be walking this year. Okay, yeah. He ain't going to be riding. Said, AJ said, I ain't doing Oh, no, he walking he walking this year. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you know, you probably won't see Jalen. It's a great time, man. I, I'm the Eagles do a great time. You you want to make sure you get to the the night before. There's a there's a it's a, a pep rally for the Eagles Autism Challenge. Free food. You get to meet coach uh, the coaches. Lurie's out there. Big Dom's out there. It's a good time. So if you are uh, interested in signing up for the Eagles Autism Challenge, check it out. Check it out. If you want to walk with us. Let us know. If you want to sign up? Let us know. Um, but we'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs>